Welcome to The Rural Dad, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to professionally install wiggle wire on your greenhouse. Is it, what's that? Well, I've watched like three YouTube videos on how to do it. But hon, they have to think I'm a professional, they won't subscribe. Okay. Almost 40,000 followers on TikTok, so I don't know what's wrong with YouTube. Regardless, let's get going here. What I'm gonna do, so here's the wiggle wire, and hopefully by the end of this weekend, maybe even today, I'll be able to get the plastic on. I don't know if I can do that by myself, but I struggle at other things, so I'm sure I'll manage. Anyway, this is the track. Now there's holes pre-drilled in this, um, almost, I'd say about a foot apart. What I think I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna start on the end poles. I'm going to, now I just have to do it on the, the front and the rear. You don't do this on every pole. I might utilize that bolt because that'll give me a good strong starting point. Um, I don't know if I'll use these ones or not yet. We'll see how it goes. The peak, I'm going to have to curl over that. Now that's kind of a sharp point, so I don't know how it's gonna go. And then obviously the rest is gonna go along down the side here so that way I can just fasten it securely at the bottom on this side on that side and on the ends and then I'll have I think about two feet overhang which I'm probably going to tuck around underneath but I don't really know what I'm doing for the ends yet that'll be in another video don't worry please subscribe to see that one because well more people like me on TikTok than they do on YouTube Anyway, uh, I'm gonna start in here and let's see what we can get done. Got the carriage bolt out. I've got this hole drilled out to the right size. So, let's see what I can do. It's not gonna quite, I'm gonna have to somehow wiggle it in. Um, I can wiggle with this. Or not. Like, would you just... You know... That ain't pretty, but it's in. Well, that buddy, you could tell you could tell I knew what I was doing, can't you? Hey. Yeah. Can I... You want you want to tighten that bolt? Hold on, it's not loosened, but here. Okay, let her rip. Okay, I'm gonna see if I get a little more. So the carriage bolt will pull into the aluminum. Hey buddy, do you think people will believe I know what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, the carriage bolt made its way through the aluminum. And that's a good starting point. Now I just got to, now there's gonna be a gap here, but I'm not worried about that because my plastic, once I cut this off, my plastic's gonna come around and I'll be able to tuck it in behind. So that's fine. We aren't gonna worry about that. And then I'm just gonna push it in. This stuff's aluminum, so it's fairly flexible. And then we'll start putting our tech screws in. That ain't going anywhere. I've decided I'm, I'm just gonna go right over top of these carriage bolt heads. Uh, if I ever have to take this thing apart, I just gotta take that nut off and this will come off here so I don't need to take that bolt out for any reason that I can foresee, um, which could bite me in the ass. However, just because of the struggle I had getting the head of that carriage bolt through the track, um, I don't think it's worth it. Both sides are on, so there's a gap, obviously. It's gonna go up over that ridge and back down. Um, like I said, I don't know how it's gonna go up on top there. But I think, what I'm gonna do anyways is take a measuring tape. I'm gonna measure from there to there. 
and then I will cut a piece off and that will work for that. But what I will do is save that till after I have the sides done um, because I might have a piece that's just about the right size for that and then I won't have to cut another one. It sounds good to me anyway. Oh, it wasn't even recording. For the size, I'm just gonna use these wood screws I found. They're a, uh, son of a gun, slippery. They're a Black Robertson. And I'm just gonna go along with this somewhat even. Like I say, this thing's not level. There's no level. I'm just gonna try and make it look even from end to end and screw it in. at the end here so I'm just gonna take a sharpie mark it and then I will go and cut it off and uh, put it back on what are you hauling today Reagan all right keep on trucking then I've got this end done and I'll show you that when I went over like that's a pretty that's a pretty sharp uh, peak there but I went over it with this and I bent it down and I'm still gonna get wiggle wire in there, no problem at all. It actually really kept its shape quite nice. I thought maybe it would crimp and bend, but it is aluminum, so it's soft. Had a little troubles up here with some screws. That's because in here, this is where I had to cut these hoops when I brought them home, when I bought them a few years ago. Um, I cut them and now there's a, an insert, there's a piece of pipe in there. So it was a little tough screwing through that. I'm gonna say in my, Professional, okay, in my experience now, I can say that this is probably gonna be a lot easier with two people. I struggle through with one, but uh, anyway, my measurement wasn't too bad. Pretty close there, that'll be fine. So now I just need to do the other end and I am not gonna film that because trust me, it's painful. All right, both ends are now done. Everything is, this stuff's all put on uh, all the way around the greenhouse. Now I'm gonna take some black tape and I'm gonna go check every ridge just to make sure there's nothing that's gonna puncture my plastic. I'm gonna look down each side to make sure there's no screws popping up or anything. And then, I don't know, the wind's dying down. Um, it's looking like a really nice evening. I want to attempt to put the plastic on. I just still don't know if it's a smart idea to try doing it by myself, but. We'll see what happens. Here's the plastic. That's the finished structure. And there's slightly a breeze, hardly anything. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this yet, but now's the time to do it. I gotta get that cat to help over there. Um, hi, we, we are filling our greenhouse. Today. Uh, 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 that is greenhouse. Yep. Okay. All right, we did it. I'm not gonna say how, but it wasn't easy. Um, for occupational health and safety reasons, we didn't film it, but we did pretty good. Now what I have to do is make sure that the plastic is square on the greenhouse, and really easy way to do that. Temporarily put some wiggle wire in the tracks to hold it. And then these creases that came in the plastic from where it was folded, if you kind of eyeball the creases up with your purlins there, keep them nice and equal all the way along, they're gonna be fairly square. So just gonna uh, get this wiggle wire in. And, and the easiest way to put wiggle wire in is just you wiggle it just a little. What's that, hun? No? Oh, okay. Well, basically just goes in like that. It's pretty simple. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do this whole one side first, and then I'm gonna work my way up and over. I don't know for sure if this plastic's gonna contract a little bit. Um, 
it might even expand so whatever we'll find out I must have done it right it's been a couple weeks now I actually forgot to shoot the sending of the video but that's okay because now you get to see that the plastic is holding up as planned it has expanded in the heat a little bit but it still does contract in the cold so I don't think I'm gonna tighten it but if I do I'll shoot a video about that too so I'm really happy he's really happy we're all really happy that it worked now it's time to get the vegetables growing more vegetables growing more vegetables growing and those are all going to be videos that you can watch on this channel if you subscribe now hit the bell notification so you know when i upload those videos and i want to thank you again for watching check out my links in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next video